All right, you delightful human beings, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka That Writer, and today we are back with this week's NXT reaction. Just as a disclaimer, if I sound or look a little rough this week, <laughs> that's because it's my finals week for this five-week term. Again, my classes are in five-week chunks at a time. Uh, so we're into finals week. There's a lot going on. Thankfully, we're, we're pushing through. We're, we're managing and doing all right. So there's that. It's been crazy. So we're super behind on reactions. So hopefully by the time that we get to the weekend, we'll be all caught up. So just giving you all heads up there. But friends, we've got NXT to watch tonight. Last week was NXT 2.0's debut, if you will, the revamp or whatever. We had the beautiful flow chart right here in all of its glory. So, will we be adjusting that flow chart? Probably. So, without further ado, let's see what happens this week, shall we? I think so. You know how, like, in the past 2K career mode games on the 2K games, where you have all those randos in the performance center when you're starting out in my career? Like, this is what it kind of reminds me of, seeing everybody inside the ring, even though we probably know who some of them are by this point. Oh, but thank God Champ is freaking champion. Champa has Goldie. All is right in the world now. Okay, wait, were all these dudes people that we saw last week or something? Because I think they all look familiar. I remember the flannel dude and his tag team partner. And then Carmelo Hayes and Trick and that awful promo last week. I'm like roasting everybody. I'm like, no, I swear the nicknames are affectionate. I swear they're just going to give me all this material to work with giving everybody a nickname at this point. I mean, to be fair, we've been doing it for a while. We've only been doing these reactions six months. Now, holy crap, it's been six months. We've been through a lot in six months. I'm noticing this is a reoccurring theme in NXT where it's like, I'm going for the title that I never lost. You know what? We get you somebody to hype up everybody like Champa does. What, what a good leader that man is. I'm not going to disagree with anything that Champa just said right here. I'm getting some like Halloween and fall vibes with these orange lights in the background. Well, to be fair, Wednesday, by the time this is uploaded, it'll be officially fall. Thank God. You know what the lighting reminds me of? It reminds me of like a lava lamp almost. Okay, I was going to say, where's Law at? And where's Kyle at? Because Kyle got taken out before the match started last week. Poor Law over here got beaten twice last week. See, even Odyssey Jones is keeping track of everything. All right, we got Pete and we got Ridge. <laughs> Cameron Grimes is like, I'm not one of these new fresh faces. <laughs> I'm just chilling out with everybody. All right, so we have Breaker and Ridge and then we got Pete and Champa. That matches up with our beautiful flow chart. But where the heck is Kyle O'Reilly at in this whole situation? Like, did, did he take the vacation that we've been like, all right, you need to take like a week off at this point? <laughs> Just because he keeps getting beaten up every week, it seems like. Okay, so it appears to be from the looks of things, since these are the last four in the ring, we're probably going to get these two in the main event, probably. Like, these two teams, which I feel like we predicted, possibly. All right, well, that was a lot that just happened. And we're kicking things off with the Cruiserweight Championship. All right. This group truly has potential to be something interesting here on NXT. I like the Creed brothers. I like what we've seen of Ivy Nile so far, just like her presence being there. And of course, you got Roderick Strong just being Roderick Strong. And Malcolm Bivens just crushing it with just being a manager and on the microphone. So lots of lots of bright spots. Oh, I like the diamond that's in the middle of the ring. I don't know if that was a new thing or if they just added it this week, but I think that's cool. As much as I really like Kushida and he's been crushing it with the Cruiserweight Championship, this this probably will go to Roderick Strong. This, this is truly a matchup that I've been looking forward to, and of course it's the one that starts things off. Oh my god, Kushida, that just, that came out of nowhere. Oh god, Kushida just, like, is right on him. Oh, okay, my arm hurts just watching this. All right, well, we're at the top rope right now as we got back from the break. Okay, that was like the one time where the pan out didn't benefit anything, but here we are. But Kushida's clearly targeting the arm. That is a smart strategy from Kushida. I feel like if there's somebody that could probably stop Kushida, it's got to be Roderick Strong. Just kind of based on momentum and just because it's Roderick Strong. <laughs> oh, but he's got his foot on the ropes. Yeah, but he was kind of already at the rope. Man, everybody's just going after Kushida. Holy crap. Oh, yep, that, that's got to be it. Good on Roderick Strong for winning a title. That's that's wonderful. Just, just because we have Roderick Strong holding a championship 
that gets a clap. You know what I would like to see? I would like to see a rematch with Strong and Kushida, like in a two out of three falls kind of situation or something like that. That could be interesting. Oh my God, that is bright. Jesus, take the wheel. Y'all need to get that brightness under control, NXT, for all of us, please. As much as I was just giving her crap for the lighting, I, I like Amari Miller's energy. There's something there, but Kaylee Ray, I think, is just going to destroy her, so there's that. We have so much positivity over here, I swear. Oh man, Miller's off to a strong start so far. Kaylee Ray's in firm control right here, and yeah, I, she, she's got this. She's got this. We're not worried about you, Kaylee Ray. All right, Kaylee Ray picks up a win. Pretty strong showing. I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all I gotta really add on to this. All right, so we have Trey Baxter in this matchup. He's going up against someone new uh, named Dante Chen. He's apparently the first WWE superstar from Singapore, so that's pretty cool. Oh my God, this is bright. Holy crap. <laughs> Y'all remember how I was saying that I was tired at the beginning of this? I don't think I'm tired anymore. <laughs> this is a little too bright, God. I mean, I'll take a little too bright over darkness, but here we are. I swear, I probably sound like the one dude from Spongebob, like, that's just like, my eyes every single time that I watch the show anymore. So far, I've liked Trey Baxter, but I'm interested to get to know uh, Dante Chen a little bit more. Should be interesting. Oh, look at Breaker getting a break in the main event. <laughs> I'm gonna see myself out. What in the crap was that? I don't know what that finishing move was right there, but that was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. I like this dude. Just because of his finisher, I like him. Yeah, I'll say that was impressive. Good job, Dante Chen. Man, he looked way better than I did when I was teaching. I was just like walking on in there with coffee to breakfast sandwich half the time. I'm like probably half asleep. Wait, he's got a whiteboard? Oh no, sir. Oh no. <laughs> he just like paused in an Odyssey and Joe's just going... Way in the point that he paused it was beautiful. Run, Steve, run! <laughs> this is so cheesy, and I love this. This man's trying to steal my whiteboard gimmick. No! <laughs> Although, to be fair, he didn't actually use the whiteboard. It was just in the background. All right, we got NXT monologue edition. Okay, but the lighting here is nice. Okay, I don't like the way this guy's looking at in into the camera and everything. I I'm a little concerned. Wait, so you're telling me that... Joe Gacy is going to wrestle in, in a button-up and in, in dress pants like he's going to a 9 to 5. Th this is a Cameron Grimes appreciation channel. The transformation he has had this year has been, um, it's been amazing to watch and it's been fun to watch. I have no idea where this match is going. All I know is that Cameron Grimes better win. All right, Cameron Grimes, wrap this up for all of us. Oh, but Joe Gacy with the counter right there. All right, he's picking up a little bit of offense, possibly. Peaceful conflict resolution. Gotta endorse that on LinkedIn. Okay, I like this Joe Gacy dude just because he was able to kind of just do a backflip of sorts into the ropes and in like the dress pants and like button up shirt right there. That, that takes talent. All right, well, Cameron Grimes won the match. Not really a surprise there, but I like the character development that we did indeed get with Joe Gacy. So I don't know where all this is gonna go, but I'm interested to see where all this is gonna go. All right, we got Electra Lopez in action here. Should be pretty interesting to see what she can do even more so. We've already seen her like lift up people and that sort of thing, like quite literally lifting up people and scoop slamming them. Although I feel like I'm saying that for a lot of people at NXT 2.0 so far, and I'm kind of cool with it. Oh man, we got some trash talking going on. All right, that, that was a little rough, I think, just from watching at home, but I think there's something there. Still a pretty strong showing, and I can't really say anything else about it because, again, it was a quick match and it did what it needed to accomplish. <laughs> I had to rewind and pause this like three times to get these two dudes' name on the, on the lower third. <laughs> All right, Odyssey Jones, flatten everybody. Odyssey Jones is quickly becoming one of my favorites on NXT. Right, good, good luck with that, dudes. Good luck with that. They're just like, wait, wait, we need, we need, a, we need to regroup here. All right, uh, the dude that I officially do not like here on the program, Andre Chase. <laughs> they had like a moment last week during the index wedding 
So that's kind of how their feud started, essentially. And now we've got Andre Chase trying to get my whiteboard situation. I mean, come on, he's even got like the freaking sweatshirts and everything. That, that... <laughs> They're on to me. Just, just as long as the dude does not write on the whiteboard, we're fine. Oh man, this man actually might flag them. Oh no. Oh yeah, that, that's it. Good job, Odyssey Jones. You're becoming one of our fast favorites on here. Now please go after the dude that's trying to go after my whiteboards. <laughs> oh my God, he just broke the chair. Odyssey Jones just broke the chair that Andre Chase was trying to use on him just now. But overall, I'm not gonna complain about Odyssey Jones on my television screen. Not at all. I was entertained. Yes, jacket dude's back. Except he's not wearing a jacket. Oh my God, this is literally an XT Cribs. Okay, but I like this. We're, we're getting a different side. We're getting some character and personality, even more so. I, 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 I like this. This is great. This is great. I have no idea whoever's coming with all these like little segments and stuff like this, like to bring out their character and personality more. But that one, that one gets a two thumbs up for me. That, that was awesome. And I like this group that we're getting here. And it's actually interesting. I was kind of just thinking this right before I was starting to film. I'm like, huh, didn't Mandy Rose debut on Raw, like in a trio? So it's kind of a callback in a way. Well played. I like this group. I, I really like this group. Okay, I like that. I like that spin and beauty kind of waiting for the beast to kind of come out. I, I like that spin. I like the name too. I like the graphics we've got going on. This trio wants all the gold. Okay, we've got a mission. Cool. I, I'm, I'm really interested in this group. They have a lot of potential to be a good group here on NXT, and I'm interested to see where it's going to go. Okay, we're going to keep our eyes peeled in this matchup here because, again, we got the whiteboard. The OG whiteboard. We've been at this for six months. We have documentation of this whiteboard over time. Okay, this is a team that really should not work, but this Breaker and Champa team kind of works. <laughs> Breaker and Champa are really just my music taste, either super dark or super bright. There's really not much room in between. <laughs> All right, we got Pete and Champa. Of course, we've established that Champa has defeated Ridge Holland in the past. Uh, but where's Timothy Thatcher at? Where's Kyle at? <laughs> Those are the two missing people in this whole mess. Okay, but this is a matchup that could get interesting here. Ridge Holland versus Breaker here. Could be a solid one-on-one -on -one match. I'd like to see that happen at some point. It would add up. Oh no. Oh, this angle is not good at all. Oh no, and Pete's kind of just driving his knee right into Champa's elbow. And he's just, this man's not, not, he's not letting up. All right, we're back from the break. We've got Champa making the tag into Breaker. We've got Holland getting Pete inside the ring right here. What a throwback right here with this submission right here. What a throwback. It's basically the Steiner recliner. So we could put two and two together there. I swear, Champa and Pete just need to have a one-on-one -on -one match at this point. I, I don't think there's any denying it, but I feel like it's going to be Pete that's going to end up being the next NXT champion. That's what the vibe is to me so far, but I could be super wrong. I, I like how we have like Breaker and Holland almost like one-upping each other, trying to one-up each other here. Two big dudes just big duding things out. Oh, Champa stopped Pete from getting the stick. The stick, is that the thing? I don't know what it's called offhand. Okay, well, there's Kyle. That explains why we didn't see Kyle earlier on in the evening. Okay, at least we tied up that loose end. Definitely a good feel-good ending for everybody at the end. But I enjoyed the tag team match for what it was. I thought it was a good main event. We had a lot of developments and all that good stuff. So I'm assuming based off of this, we're probably going to get Champa versus Pete next, probably for the title, if I had to take a guess. And then we're probably going to get something with Kyle and Ridge because that's been bubbling for a few weeks now. Because remember Ridge Holland went after Kyle during that one episode a few weeks back after TakeOver. And Kyle got attacked by Duke Hudson later that night. Yeah, that happened. See, we keep track of everything. Don't worry, kids. We got the whiteboard approaching. This was a satisfying ending to NXT. So good job on that, NXT. All right, kids. Final thoughts on this week's NXT. Well, there wasn't really anything that really stood out to me in terms of the matches, maybe the Cruiserweight Championship and then the main event, probably. Uh, we got a title change, so again, congratulations are in order to Roderick Strong. I like a lot of the character stuff that is happening because, I mean, of course, you need good characters to have good stories in the ring, and when you combine the two together, it makes sense to me. 
Uh, but this genuinely does feel fresh for NXT. I like this direction that we're going. It's going smoothly so far. We've got a good mixture of new people and, of course, people that are a little bit more established that we're used to seeing on NXT or we've gotten used to seeing on NXT. So uh, we've updated this significantly to make things clear because we don't know where Law is at by any chance. And I don't think he's involved in this mess for right now. As you can see here, we have Pete and Ridge linked by the solid line here. Kyle's still in blue which connects us to Pete and Ridge kind of at the same time because they both attacked him. Of course, tonight where Kyle got after Ridge Holland a little bit to get a little bit of payback because, again, he did get attacked by Ridge Holland a few weeks back after TakeOver. And, of course, you know, Pete and Ridge took him out last week before the Fatal 4-Way. Then, of course, uh, Pete and Champa, they probably have more of a direct connection. Champa already beat Ridge Holland, but, you know, something to keep in mind. And then, of course, we have Breaker down here because, well, he had issues, of course, right at the beginning of the episode. I don't know if this is like a temporary alliance, but just something to keep in mind. You know, temporary, ali uh, temporary alliance. And then, of course, we've got Thatcher, who's just wherever now. So that is our final little flow chart of the evening to kind of keep track of everything. Because, quite frankly, somebody's got to. And I actually use my whiteboard. The... NXT 2.0 thing is going pretty smoothly so far, and I've quite enjoyed it. But let me know what you all thought about this week's NXT down in the comments down below. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button so that we get notifications around here. On that note, thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will see you all around later. Bye, everyone.